first gunned down in a mass shooting, she became a leading advocate for what supporters call common sense gun control. Today, former Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords made the pitch in Minnesota. Together with her astronaut husband, Mark Kelly, Giffords is launching a bipartisan coalition. Its job is to find ways that help keep guns out of the hands of our most dangerous people. And as Bill Hudson shows us, a diverse group of stakeholders will push for action. Five years after a violent and deadly mass shooting, Gabrielle Giffords calls this her second chance at life. Stopping gun violence takes courage. The courage to do what's right. The courage of new ideas. To get those ideas, she and husband Mark Kelly have established the Minnesota Coalition for Common Sense, a way to strengthen gun control laws without stepping on the rights of responsible gun owners like themselves. It's time for our leaders to take some common sense, responsible steps to keep guns out of the wrong hands and make our community safer. 32,000 Americans die from gun violence each year. More than 100,000, like Giffords, are injured. So at this Augsburg College Roundtable, law enforcement, women's and gun safety advocates offered solutions, ways to keep guns out of the hands of the mentally unstable, convicted felons, and those prone to domestic violence. There are small, simple remedies, I think, that, that we could put in place that would ultimately protect people and yet protect people's rights. The challenge will be building legislative support, beginning with closing a loophole that exempts background checks for firearms sold at gun shows. I've seen great courage when my life was on the line. Now is the time to come together, be responsible. Now this coalition aims for bipartisan support to show that this isn't a second amendment concern, but rather a public health crisis. They don't want to infringe on responsible gun owners, rather restrict access from those who simply shouldn't have those guns. Amelia? All right, Bill. Thank you. Mm -hmm.